we're here at Granite Construction Talon Cove facility. It's set up a little differently than others. Tank one, it has its own pump and hose, whereas two, three, and four all run off of that pump and hose. So you might want to find out which tank you're going into before you pull up. We're going to get pulled up and hooked up and get unloading. So we got the hose down. We're all hooked up here on tank one. So just like any place, the next thing we're going to do Gonna open the valve to the tank. Now I've gotta come around to the other side. A little inconvenient, but not a big deal. They like to shut their power all the way off, so you have to throw your power on, press power, or start. Got our pump spinning. Now we come back over here, open the valve in between the hose and the pump. Let's check for suction. We've got suction, so we're good to close our valve, close our sample valve, open our trailer valve, start unloading. Now today I'm unloading using the other system, but I still want to show you how to use the pump system for two, three, and four. So pretend with me that we just hooked up this hose to our trailer to start unloading, and that the plant operator told us to unload into tank two. You got to get the key from the plant operator. They keep their pump and valves locked. So we're all hooked up. First thing you want to do is you come over here, turn the power on to the pump, flip this from off to hand and hit start. That turns the pump on. Next thing, come up here and before you open your tank, make sure all the other tanks are closed. So this one's closed. You can see that's going crossways, that's closed. That's going crossways to four, that's closed. So we're good to open tank two. Now we go check for suction. Once we know we have suction, we can close our sample valve and open our trailer valve and we can start unloading. Now while you're unloading, just like any place, you wanna keep an eye on the level of your tanks. So these stairs are over here around the side of the tanks. Come up here. There's where you can check the level of tank four. We can check the level of tank three right here. Tank two, you check by going up the ladder right there and you climb up and go look right there in the top, you can see it. Tank one's a little different. Currently at Towns Cove, the plant will check tank one. You just have to trust them on that. But the rest of these, you need to keep an eye on, make sure they don't get too full. You need to take a sample here at Towns Cove. Currently they don't have like a cabinet or anything. They just usually put them up here on this little uh, platform. So you've got some empties and some lids. There's a marker up here. You need to take one sample at Talons Cove, like normal, day bill lading, supplier, product. And when you get done with it, just put the full one back up there or you can put it down here on the concrete either way. If there's not a can out here though, don't skip taking a sample. You still need to take one. Go ask the plant operator for a can. When you're done unloading here at Talons Cove, you don't do this in between trailers, but when you're completely done unloading, you need to take five gallons of diesel and run it into the hose through your sample valve. We do that because the way these hoses hang up, they'll get sags in them. If you don't do it, the hose will plug right away. So when you're all done, you close your trailer valve and you open your sample valve. You put this little siphon hose down in the bucket and then you stick this hose right on the sample valve, just like that. And that will suck your diesel out of the bucket and through the hose. We're just pretending right now because we're still unloading but wanted to show you how you do that. Once it's all empty, you're good to unhook. A little tip, don't do this as soon as you open your sample valve to let it suck air. You wanna let it drain a little bit. If you do it right away, the diesel and asphalt mix together, it kinda makes a mess. If you let that asphalt drain out for 30 seconds first and then do it, it actually cleans things really nice. So be sure to run the diesel through there. So let me show you tank one, how we finish up. We've already ran diesel through the line and we hung up the hose. We lifted up this hose as much as we could to try and get it through there. So now that we're ready to shut things down, we're just gonna follow the hose. We're gonna shut this valve. While you're here, you may as well just shut this valve. And then we're gonna run back over to the power over here. Hit the off button, kill the power. And that's it, we're all done. Hoses up, valves are closed, pumping off. Now that we're done unloading, 
we grabbed our diesel bucket, we sucked it through the sample valve so that our hose got all that diesel in there. Then we lifted the hose as high as we could and then we lifted that part of the hose as high as we could, try and push as much as we can into the pump. So now that we're all finished, the pump's still running. The first thing you wanna do, there is no valve between the pump and the hose. So you're gonna close your tank valve first. So you come up here, close your tank valve, put your lock on it. Got that nice and locked. Now that that's closed, we've prevented any oil from back flowing. We can shut off the pump, simply kill the power to the pump, put your lock on it. And then I'm gonna say it out loud like I always do. Hose is hung, pump's off, valves are closed. I'm gonna take the key up to the plant operator, ask him if he needs anything else, and we're all done.